your keys to great golf. Simon has coached players such as Darren Clark, Robert Carlson, Seve Ballesteros and Nick Faldo. And now you're the next. Now, as we build up your swing, from the quarter swing to the half swing, there's one vital element that is added here. That is the using the fastest lever in your body, which is your wrist hinge. If your golf swing doesn't have an effective wrist hinge, you are not maximizing your power and you're certainly not maximizing your accuracy. I will show you now how you can use this most important element, probably the most important element in golf. As we could see, my quarter swing was here. To build this into a half swing, all I'm going to do is let my wrists fully hinge and I want you to have this hinge by the time your left arm is parallel to the ground. You can see, I'm not this way. That's no hinge at all. There. Let this create this 90 degree angle. The reason for that is that if I don't hinge it until the top of my backswing, the club will get too loose and I won't be able to control this heavy weight. Hinge it early, then you want to turn. So what we're going to do is to show you how to make this half swing so that you can get the full use of your wrist action. Your wrists have three things that they have to do. Hinge in the backswing, release at impact to where I've let that angle go, and then through the ball, they will re-hinge again. I want you to work really hard on this exercise. If you can do this, you will improve your ball striking, maximize your power in a very, very efficient and easy to control motion. If you don't use your wrists correctly, you will always be trying to compensate by overusing your body. Your body is much bigger. It's far more difficult to get moving. The wrists and hands are easy. So many things we do with wrists and hands. Watch me do this exercise now, and then this is something that every time you go to the range, you want to be able to perform this drill. A little bit wider stance as my swing gets bigger. Here, impact, really let it go. Let your right arm straighten, and let all of that weight and power release at impact, and then let it snap through. When I'm doing this exercise, I feel that the fastest part of my swing is after impact. I probably get 80% of my full distance just on this half swing because my wrists are the power in my golf swing. For full premium content, visit WorldWide Web, SimonHolmesGolf.com. Enjoy your game.